discovered most horrible and fascinating planets in the universe. So basically, this is a rogue planet. This object is located 20 light years away from the sun and doesn't have its own star. We could say it's an orphan. However, even if there is no star lighting it up, the sky is not as dark as it may seem. Bright flashes light it up every now and then. This rogue planet is 12 times more massive than Jupiter, and its magnetic field is 200 times more powerful. And this is what creates such amazing phenomena, like for example, Northern Lights. In this video, you will find out how a planet can be ice cold and extremely hot at the same time, and that there are planets in which rain falls upside down. And most importantly, we will understand that we live in a crazy, beautiful universe. First things first, which planet do you think is the most fascinating one? Let's take a look at this one, planet Earth. This is a mind-blowing planet. It is really a piece of art. On its surface, you can find a lot of water as well as mountains and rocks. The temperature on this planet is quite acceptable and it seems to have developed all the conditions to support life. But most importantly, this is the only planet on which you can find coke. That's what makes it even more beautiful. The inhabitants of planet Earth take everyday pictures of landscapes and panoramic views and share them with friends on social media. Who knows what would happen if those inhabitants called humans knew that there is actually a better planet where they can take selfies. Cherry Blossom This planet is known as Cherry Blossom, and if we could travel to this giant planet, we would see a world still glowing from the heat of its formation with a color reminiscent of a dark cherry blossom a dull magenta. This is exactly what Michael McElwain from NASA Discovery Team said. Cherry Blossom Planet, also known as Exoplanet GJ504b, is supposedly the youngest and smallest planet discovered around a star that resembles a sun similar to our solar system. Look at it! It's so pink! Imagine taking a picture of its surface. It would hit differently. Cherry Blossom lies something like 57 million light years away from the Earth and it is orbiting the star Gliese 504, also called 59 Virginis. Mega Saturn But another fascinating planet could be Mega Saturn. It is located about 400 light years from us. It's also called so because just like Saturn it shows rings, but they are huge rings. The gas giant's rings are almost 200 times bigger in size than those of Saturn. They are so huge that, seen from Earth, this planet completely eclipses its host star when it crosses our line of sight. Even if you had the fastest of rockets, it will take you more than two years to reach one of the edges of its rings. But what a view from there! Can you imagine? You would wake up and, looking up, you would see such rings covering the sky completely. What a dream! HD 131399 AB Another fantastic view, however, could be given by the planet HD 131399AB, situated 320 light years from us. What makes this planet so special is the fact that it is orbiting a triple star system. Imagine you orbiting three suns instead of just one. This would affect seasons, day and night, and our orbit would be really different from what we are used to here on Earth. In general, such planets are destined to take unpredictable paths and then leave the system. Maybe it will eventually become a rogue planet. This is because orbits in a triple star system are really chaotic and unstable and basically everything could happen. You should know that on this planet, you would wait something like 100 years for all the stars to settle, and therefore you would have a complete sunset every century. And you should of course wait the same amount of time to have one night. What about the surfaces of exoplanets? Are there some strange exoplanets with unusual surfaces? Well, for example, we could start from Venus in our solar system. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and is Earth's closest planetary neighbor. It is one of the four inner terrestrial or rocky planets, and it's often called Earth's twin because it's similar in size and density. These are not identical twins, however. There are radical differences between the two worlds. Venus has a thick, toxic atmosphere filled with carbon dioxide and it's perpetually shrouded in thick, yellowish clouds of sulfuric acid that trap heat, causing a runaway greenhouse effect. It's the hottest planet in our solar system, even though Mercury is closer to the Sun. 
Surface temperatures on Venus are about 900 degrees Fahrenheit or 475 degrees Celsius, so very hot. The surface is a rusty color and it's peppered with intensely crunched mountains and thousands of large volcanoes. Scientists think it's possible some volcanoes are still active. Kepler 10b Going out of our solar system, we find planets such as Kepler 10b, 560 light years away from us. It's way hotter than Venus and its effective temperature, which means its surface temperature, is estimated to be three times that of Venus. It is literally a giant hell furnace with 1500 degrees Celsius. Of course, we couldn't exist there, not even for a second. The planet is so hot because the planet is 20 times closer to its host star than Mercury is to our sun. The discovery is significant because it is the first rocky exoplanet discovered until January 2011, and also the smallest of the exoplanets discovered until that date. Data on mass, diameter, and revolution were obtained by studying the luminous eclipses and gravitational perturbations of the star around which the planet orbits. Galice 581c Astronomer Udry discovered in 2007 a cool planet called Galice 581c. It is an exoplanet orbiting the red dwarf Galice 581, which is a faint star in the Libra constellation, about 20 light years away from us. It is classified as a super-Earth, and what makes it so special is that it is considered to orbit into the habitable zone of its planetary system. It constantly shows one side to its host star, just as the Moon does with the Earth. This phenomenon is known as tidal lock. The models developed on the evolution of the orbit of Galice 581c over time suggest that the tidal warming resulting from the lock would pay an important role in the geology of the planet. Such models predict that tidal warming would fuel a surface heat flux three times greater than that exerted by Jupiter on its satellite Io, resulting in significant geological activity possibly characterized by plate tectonics and intense volcanism. If you land on the light side of it, temperatures are so hot that you would probably instantly melt, but on the other side, temperatures are so cool that you would probably instantly freeze. This means that even if the planet is said to be habitable, only a tiny strip on its surface would be good for life as we know it to grow and develop. It has indeed an unusual surface. But don't worry, one day we will develop a technology to both reach that planet and be able to survive there. I mean, once we land it on that strip, everything will be fine. Instead, what are the planets with the most extreme weather conditions? Here on Earth, we can't have rain, storms, snow, earthquakes, tsunamis, and so on. On Earth, it rains water. But what if I told you that this is not the only option? Slasher Planet In this image, the nightmare world of HD 189733b is the killer you never see coming. To the human eye, this far-off planet looks bright blue. But any space traveler confusing it with the friendly skies of Earth would be badly mistaken. The weather in this world is deadly. Its winds blow up to 5,400 miles per hour, 2 kilometers per second, at 7 times the speed of sound, whipping all would-be travelers in a sickening spiral around the planet. And getting caught in the rain on this planet is more than an inconvenience, it's death by a thousand cuts. This scorching alien world possibly rains glass sideways in its howling winds. The cobalt blue color comes not from the reflection of a tropical ocean as on Earth, but rather a hazy, blow-torched atmosphere containing high clouds laced with silicate particles. In its atmosphere, there is a lot of silicates. Under the influence of the heat given by the nearby star, they evaporate and produce gas clouds which, after cooling down, produce precipitation. On this planet, you would find yourself dealing with a cascade of blue drops of glass. That's why astronomers refer to it as the slasher planet. Hat P7b But this is not the end of the story. On this planet called Sapphire Slasher or Hat P7b, something unusual happens as well. Guess what? Before answering the question, be sure to like or dislike the video. Plus, be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the bell so that you don't miss any of our weekly videos. It rains diamonds. Unfortunately for us humans, it's a thousand light years away. Hat P7b is a tidally locked planet with the same sign always facing its star. We expect clouds to form on the cold night side of the planet, but they would evaporate quickly on the hot day side. 
These results show that strong winds circle the planet, transporting clouds from the night side to the day side. The winds change speed dramatically, leading to huge cloud formations, building up, then dying away. However, observing HAT P7b through a telescope might be the closest we'll ever get to it. The exoplanet's surface temperatures reach 4,532 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's racked by violent windstorms. This was pretty much what we had to say about these unusual exoplanets. As you can see in the end, the universe is always more creative than we expect. Our craziest fantasies are nothing compared to what we can actually discover studying the universe. This is exactly what makes it beautiful and unique. And as long as we are able to observe and be amazed by such things, we can definitely tell we've been lucky. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. What are your thoughts about this video? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to share. Science needs you and you need science. See you next time for another amazing video.